Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show all of you how to set up a basic 2D follow cam inside of Unity 2022. So this video is specifically going to show the steps for doing it for a pixel art style game, because there's a couple extra you need to add in. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure we have the prerequisites added into our project. To do that, we go up to the window menu and then down to package manager. So this too, we need to search in here, make sure that you are looking in Unity Registry, not just in project. So for Unity Registry, first you can search pixel and you're going to want to make sure that 2D Pixel Perfect is added into the project. If needed, you can click on the install button down there. And then the other we're going to need is Cinemachine. So just type in C-I-N-E and it should pop up. And then once again, install that into the project. So this is going to give us our follow camera tools. So when you have those two, click on the default camera in your scene. And we're going to need to add in Pixel Perfect camera as a component here. So click Add Component and search pixel perfect camera and add that in if you haven't already. Make sure that the assets pixels per unit matches what you're using for the art and the project to check that. Now 100 is the default, but you can check what your settings are on your assets by going to project, locating your art assets, clicking on one of them, looking in the inspector and your pixels per unit will be set here. But once again, this defaults to 100. So now go back to the pixel perfect camera. So now just make sure that grid snapping is set to pixel snapping instead of none over here. And then the other thing we're going to need to do is to add in the virtual camera from Cinemachine into our scene. So if you have a level opened up, right click in the level and then go down to Cinemachine. This should exist if you installed the package. If not, then go back to window and the package manager and make sure it's there. And then go to virtual camera and you'll notice that a little icon is added to your default camera immediately if we click on camera now then you'll see the cinema machine brain is added in here so if we click on cmv cam one in our scene then you'll see follow as an option down here so we need to set the transform of the object that we want to follow around the screen so I'm going to click the selector and locate any object in the scene. You can also type in the name of your player if you just want to do that instead. But I'll select player from the list and double click it there. So now if we open up body. OK, so now if we hit play, you'll see that it does follow our player around the screen. But we get some issues as it jitters around the screen. So turn off play mode and under body, we need to turn off damping. So set this to zero for X, Y and Z. And that's going to correct a lot of our issues right there. OK, so now at this point, we have a simple follow cam going around our player. It always stays on top of the player and the issues with the pixel jittering have been fixed as well. So one last thing I want to point out is that it's important that you make sure that your resolution is set to an even number here. So I am using a 16 by 9 resolution set as my testing resolution instead of having it in free aspect mode, because if you change it to free aspect mode, you may get a random a resolution like this and the lines come back. So that's not going to work for pixel art. We need to have it set to something like this while we test our game. So I think any of these other defaults should work as well for HD, WXGA or a higher resolution. Just don't use free aspect because obviously you can see that gives you lots of glitches. So that's basically how to set up a simple 2D follow camera inside of Unity 2022. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching to the end and I will see all of you on my future video content.